Hey folks, this here is a lesson on Braun Your R or something like that from Led Zeppelin. So hope you enjoy it. We got to get in this C tuning to start with. So this is a C6 tuning. So it's basically like an open C tuning, but this fifth string is going to be, it's going to remain an A. So we have a big C, the biggest string is all the way down to a C. And then the A stays the same, and then this D goes down to a C also. The G stays the same, and this B has to come up to a C. And the E stays the same. So you end up having a C, and an A, and a C, and a G, and a C, and an E. First thing is going to be we're going to slide in from the second to third note on this fifth string. <laughs> We're going to use each finger on its own string. We're going to go fifth string all the way down to the second string. Now the we're going to switch the bass note, but we're going to keep the other notes the same. So Okay, so that's the first thing. Now the second thing, all we do to change that is we're going to go to the pinky down here in the highest string. That last one we won't go all the way down to the highest note, so it'd be we're gonna do that D string and G string there. Now we're gonna come and flip around here. We're gonna have a two here and a two here and a two on the second string, and that's because we need this pinky to pull off this note down here. Fifth string and second string to the third string and fourth string. And then we go to that three down here and the little E, and as we pull that off, we're gonna hit that bass note, second fret on the fifth string at the same time as we pull that off. And we go up the strings that time, but we pull the two out of the way, so we get it open there, so. So it ends up being dum 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 dum, dee yum dum dum dum. And then we go three, and open. And now we switch to a new thing here, so this is going to be five on the fifth string, four in the third string, five in the second string. And we're going to hit the fifth string and the second string. So we're going to go all the way to the high string there. And then we're going to go boom, boom, boom. And then we're going to pull this one out of the second string. So it's an open. Okay, so back to the three and the open thing. So that whole part was like. So that does have the three open, 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 and then big open, 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 without going any lower, so. And we'll end there. Once again to this part. Now we're on to the new part. So we go fifth string to fourth string twice there. And then we go up to strings. So. And there we have. So that's a hammer on here, open to three. And then third string, second string, big string, twice on the G. And that little part right there, that could be like kind of, you know, I developed my own little way of doing it or something, a little artistic license or something there. So here we go. This goes to the new part. Now the only thing that happens the second time is you do it open to two to three.
we got a new part. So that's just a quick two to three. And straight up the strings, four strings. And then you're gonna go. And that's like that chord from before. Two, two, open, two. Now that pinky is gonna slide up there. And as it slides to that four, you hit the, the bass note of the fifth string. So let's check that out again. We got. So as you hit that bass, as you slide up to that four, you're gonna go. That's O oh, four four four. Then you go O oh, four open open. So we got. Okay, so that's twice in a row. Now this time, instead of doing it like we did the two times before, we're gonna go. So we gotta switch the first finger around to these fours. We're gonna do a four, five, four, hammer on, pull off there on the second string. And after we've done that, when it comes back to this four, that's gonna be the beginning with the bass note of a new phrase. So. So when we do that slide, the bass note hits, we do the four, four, and then we do that hammer on pull off. And we do the 0444, 0445. So we do a little back and forth between the four and the five going on there, so the whole thing there. After we've gone back to the four, we got this new thing. We're gonna have a big bar in the fifth fret. He might have used his thumb or something on a smaller guitar than this one. This is, has a really wide neck. And I've found it easier to just kind of bar that whole thing over the years anyway. So you kind of slide in from just below this five. I have it written out as a four in the tab. But you're gonna go slide into the fifth fret and skip the fifth string and go fourth, third, second. And then you're gonna slide up to the seventh in the same way. And then do that two to three. Now at the end of that seven, I need to tell you, it's gonna go seven, 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 and then open on the second string there. So three to the open, five, seven, open there at the end. So four times of that. G string there. So I slid into the, from the two to the three, but it hit that three twice. And then I did third string, second string. Two, two, oh, two. Slide into the four as we hit that fifth string bass. Now this one's a little different because we're gonna go. And I pulled that four out of there at the end of that so second string and that's like before we go to the big five so three times of this then the fourth one is a little different so when we go to the seven, we're just doing big string and then fourth string, third string. So 
So there's like three of them, and the next one's gonna go to the very ending. Now that one stays with the four twice, so oh four 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 oh four four four. Now our last thing is so it's a hammer from four to five on the fourth string, and then open, open. And then you put this finger down in here, so you end up with a five, five, open, open. So four, five, open, open, and then five, five, open, open. And then we get into a new shape here. We're gonna have open on the fourth string, and then seven, five, open. And we're gonna bring in this bass note here to alternate with. Third one of that, you can kind of slow down and get ready for the very last chord. I like to upstroke this with my thumb nail, kind of. That's gonna be all the open strings with that three down there. Okay, so let's review that last part. Absolutely fantastic song by Jimmy Page, Led Zeppelin. I've been playing that one for years and years, so I hope you enjoy that. I'm Damon Wood. Please like and subscribe. Let us know what you like. Uh, we're trying to get the sound a lot better over here, so I hope you enjoyed that. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.